speaking so speaking of shit that was fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to bring it up. I have to well, no, up. and the thing is that I know I knew it was gonna come up because shit, you made a video, I made a video. Uh, I Grey Mouse didn't make it didn't make a video about it, but I know he has his thoughts on it. Um if you haven't figured it out by now, folks, what we're talking about is uh, generic gear zombies. Um, the uh, continuation to uh, actually the initial, the initiation of the process in which Capcom is going to rape the Metal Gear franchise publicly for a fucking cash grab. Thoughts, gentlemen. <sighs> I can't believe that Konami is this arrogant to go and take a franchise such as Metal Gear and just basically middle finger it all the way up as they did as, as far as saying, hey, this is going to be a Metal To call it a Metal Gear Solid is insulting. I remember the Metal Gear Acid games. It was called Metal Gear Acid for a reason. It wasn't solid. It wasn't a Metal Gear Solid. Okay. Um, Metal Gear, um, you know, you what? Tactics or whatever? Or, you, you know, Revengeance. Yeah. It wasn't a Metal Gear Solid. Okay. For them to call this a Metal Gear Solid and have this type of gameplay. It's not only insulting, but it's a big middle finger all the way for gamers. The fact that it's gonna be like Left for Dead, <laughs> that's what it looked like. It looked like it's Left for Dead, and it kind of borrows some of the storyline for Killer Instinct 2. You know, they were ripped back into some sort of dimension, and you know, now there are gonna be um, beans with red dildos on top of their heads chasing them and it's just like I, okay I'm going to I'm going to straight up ask is are if any of you that's watching this video are any of you going to get it or any of you excited about it sell this to me please try to sell this to me <laughs> I, I want to hear it I want to hear it look and don't say oh I'm just going to get it just because it's a metal gear no fuck that no, I want to hear how is this going to be good and why are you getting it based off how you think it's going to be good. That's the way I want someone to try to sell this to me. That's a tough sell. <laughs> That'd probably Look, be a tough I sell. I want someone to try. I'm yep. reasonable. I'm open-minded, just not for bullshit. Well. <laughs> what about you, Gray Mouse? What are your thoughts on it? I know you have some. He doesn't want to go into it, and that's why he didn't freaking make a video about it. And trust me, I understand. <laughs> I don't know who would who thought over at Konami thought it would be a good idea to make a zombie game out of the Metal Gear uh, Metal Gear series. Is beyond wait a minute, wait, wait, objection! You're asking who at Konami thought it was a great idea. <laughs> I know, even even that question in itself, yeah. But I, I mean, and you know, co-op. Are you kidding me? I couldn't even get through half of the trailer without saying, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> um, but I don't think it's a solid game, though. I don't think it's. It just says Metal Gear Survive. That's it. No, yeah, Metal, Gear Metal Gear Survive. Survive. No. It no, it's just Metal Gear Survive. It's just it's Metal, Metal Gear Survive. Gear Survive. It's not yeah. Solid. Yeah. Uh, but not I, that it's not that it's not you know. I'm not, not trying to glorify it, but I'm just you saying. know. But uh, I, I mean, multiplayer. <laughs> who asked for this shit? It is what I've been every video that I've seen on YouTube. The, okay, wait, wait, wait. The fans didn't ask for this per se, but they said they would like to see another Metal Gear. Yeah, they didn't say how. They yeah. were just like, "Oh, Metal Gear, yeah." And mm -hmm. I said this in my video. What are they going to do? Make a first-person sh shooter out of Gradius? 
Are they going to make a Contra puzzle game? It would not be surprised. Would not be fucking surprised if they tried some shit like that. Uh, I'd probably it, be doing Pachinko first, but yeah, go ahead, Grimas. It's definitely not a game that anybody has asked for or wanted, should I say. I should say wanted because, I mean, the theme is right. We did ask for a Metal Gear game, and uh, that old saying goes back again, be careful what you ask for. You just might get it. (laughs) We got it, but we got it all wrong. (laughs) Well, here's a a funny thing, all right? Because if you go ahead and you look up the trailer on YouTube, it's sitting something at right now at – 2,881,863 Two million eight hundred eighty-one thousand eight hundred and sixty-three views. Right uh, at this moment in time, it has eighteen thousand and sixty-eight likes, and it has seventy-nine thousand four hundred and two dislikes. So it has. Wait, 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 wait. There were eighteen thousand people that actually liked this. Sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. Yeah. See, it's funny because those type of numbers—that's Ghostbuster proportions. <laughs> So once yeah. again, I don't want to hear anyone saying that oh, you're just doing this because of no. When something sucks, we have a valid a, look. We have a choice of opinion here, and if it's something that we think sucks or something that we know that sucks, we're going to express that and we're going to yeah. express our feelings of it. It's it's just the fact that this is not the type of Metal Gear that we want. And Konami should have known that. The fact that they are too arrogant to realize that is just just this. Mm-hmm. It it doesn't make any sense to especially the three of us. I mean, it, you know what gets what get really gets me is that they had an opportunity to excel. They could have had an opportunity to take a beloved franchise and go back to its roots, espionage, sneaking around, and and stuff like that. You know, going back to its roots. But no, they decided to go and make a zombie game out of it. I mean, I'm sick. I'm getting really tired of zombie games. I'm zombied out. I here's really the, am. Here's the thing. This is, this is what I could figure out. Again, uh, we have some corporate people making some really boneheaded decisions about a creative product, all right? Because um, the one thing that got me, and I, I stated this in my video that I, I went out of my way and I made, is that, it wasn't just a trailer that <laughs> ended me. It was also reading the press release comments that Konami themselves made about the fucking uh, game that offended me. All right. The, the whole thing about saying that it was going to be uh, multiplayer co-op self action. I'm like, okay, so you're putting it multiplayer online because you don't want people to play fucking local co-op. You're going to sit there. You're going to force everybody to, to go out of their way and buy each their, each in their, their own individual copy for fucking multiplayer. And then they said something about releasing more fucking weapons as the game, uh, you know, has, has been out. So I'm like, so you're already telling me that you're going to lay it down with fucking DLC. DLC. Fucking style DLC. Uh-huh. And go ahead and play this fucking game. And, you know, the, the, thing that, that, the thing that gets me is that Konami's marketing guy, like uh, two days later, I think just yesterday on Friday, went out of his way and was like, "You guys got to give it a chance." I mean, no. it's not full price. Look, here's the thing, All right? In my video, I sat there and I pulled out every iteration of fucking Metal Gear that's been goddamn fucking released in physical mm-hmm. format, except for Metal Gear Solid Five. You know, uh, what's that? Uh, Ground Zeroes. Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain. All right, because I don't have those physically. I have those actually on Steam. Okay. Um, you have Ground Zeroes? Why? It was a good deal and it came in a package. So, <laughs> just telling you. All right. Well, the, the whole thing is, is that I sat there and I brought out every fucking physical copy of Metal Gear that's pretty much been, you know, every, every major actual part of Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid, everything that goes into the actual lore. And the truth of the matter is that anybody who's played those games or anybody who's played more than one of those titles, they know what Metal Gear is. And if they sat there and watched that that fucking trailer and said, this ain't fucking Metal Gear, guess what? It's not fucking Metal Gear. not fucking Metal Gear. Yeah. Well, another thing, too, is that after the backlash of the initial trailer, 
you know, Konami had to come out and say, oh, wait, wait, don't worry, there is stealth in it. There's, there's stealth. Uh, that, that really sent me a, I was like, so you're doing, so now you're doing, uh, what's it called? You're, 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 damage control. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word right now. You, you were doing damage control immediately. Because there was such a huge backlash of, of this stuff. It has nothing to do with Metal Gear at all. If anybody who's ever played Metal Gear, any iteration of it, they know that, I mean, Metal Gear, what is it, Revengerance? How do you, how do you pronounce Revenge. that? That's more of a Metal Gear than this fucking game. It's funny because, you know, People remember Metal Gear since the MSX and the NES. Yep. You've got, you have, to, okay, look. If you're not going to, um, if Kojima didn't do this, then why would you go forward? Here, here's a silly thing about that. Here's a silly thing about that is that I don't, I don't necessarily think that Kojima is needed to make a good Metal Gear game. It, well, yeah, yeah, agreed. But you have to stick to the Metal Gear format. And that's it, the ultimate point that I was about to make. Yeah, even, it has to be a Metal Gear game. This ain't yeah, a fucking Metal it Gear game. It has to be game. a Metal Gear game if you're going to hold that time. Even Kojima's hands all over the place game is looking pretty promising at this point compared to this Metal Gear. So, well, I'm curious. It, it kind of brings up a good point. I'm curious, uh, did Kojima know about this game before he left? Is that what one of these, is this what tip, uh, tipped his, you know, no. him over to say, fuck this, I'm leaving Konami? You know, no. How, how, no, what I'm saying is this game had to been in development for a while, while no. Kojima was there. I don't think it's, I don't think it was cooked up recently. I really no. don't. No, it was cooked up recently. I don't think it was cooked up recently, man. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I really don't. Here, here's the thing. No, no, no. Wait, 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 No. Hang on, hang on. Let me say this. I'm not saying that Kojima created this shit. I, that is not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that he had any part. You're in saying it. that they pitched this idea toward him for the Metal Gear franchise. Yes. And then, no, yeah. because. He rejected it and said, fuck you. And then that's, and, you know, I mean, again, we don't know what happens behind closed doors at these companies. We would have found out what happened behind closed doors because well, there's yeah. too much going on between Kojima and Konami that we did not know. Yeah. Everything got found out as far as what was happening between the turmoil and the frustration between these yeah. two. Well, one yeah. But what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking this was pitched to him and Kojima's like, fuck you, you're, you no. Yeah, I'm not going to create a game. Um, Raiden was cutting up watermelon in a game. <laughs> you could do that. If yeah. Kojima would have picked, if Ko Kojima would have been involved in this, it would have at least been acceptable. Okay. No, I think what happened was the, uh, was the exact opposite. Was exactly. that Konami went ahead and said, oh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make Metal Gear. And Ko Kojima was like, so when do you want me to, what you want me to, to to, to go ahead and give you guys like some some ideas what I think where you should go and they're like they oh, want it. It. all right even if they didn't guess what they didn't have to get Kojima's okay to sit there and fucking make this game they own exactly. the fucking IP yeah all right Absolutely. The, the other thing too is that Ground Zeroes was was put out September of 2015 all right pretty much a year ago uh, almost to this day and it took him a long time to go ahead and put that game out, mostly because Kojima was putting together the Fox engine from the fucking ground up. And that's one of the big reasons why it took him, like, uh, almost four years to fucking make the game. I mean, All right? the, thing, the thing is with Ground Zeroes, uh, it wasn't a bad game. It really wasn't. Wait, Ground oh. Zeroes or Phantom Pain? No, 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 Ground Zeroes. It was not What's a true? bad game. It was Phantom a Pain. short game. But they wanted to charge us full price for a short Game. The game was good. It really was, was a demo. Yeah. That. No, no, no. Let me let me let me redact the same. Okay. Phantom Pain. All right. Uh, going all the way up and developing Metal Gear Solid Five all the way through took over four fucking years for for Kojima to do that. All right. Mostly because he was creating the the engine from the ground up. 
he ended up going forty million dollars over budget too in the yeah. process, which probably didn't lend him any any good graces with the uh, uh, corporate um, jackasses over there at fucking Konami. But you know the the thing about it was that you know he was out the door. It, but here's the thing: Konami is just looking at making just like every other uh, corporate asshole out there making the most money out of the least working fucking product as possible. Okay. Their biggest franchise, regardless of where they're at is metal gear. Okay. Now what they did though, is that their creative process was that they sat there, they probably went ahead and said, okay, we want you to go out and look at all of the greatest or biggest best selling games and movies and fucking TV shows and all the most popular shit over the last 10 years, not knowing that it's 2016 and not 2000 fucking eight. Okay. And they were like, okay, so what's, what's popular now? Oh, multiplayer check. It's got to have that. Oh, online with DLC check. It's got to have that fucking zombies check. It's got to have that. What, what, what's the most, uh, you know, fucking popular thing that we have going right now. That's actually connected to games. Well, we can't make a zombie game out of fucking pro, pro evolution soccer, so let's go ahead and make it out of fucking Metal Gear. They better not make a zombie game out of Gradius or have Gradius in tanks. They no. better not have. I mean, they better not I, have vehicles in Castlevania. I, I mean, that's pretty much that was pretty much their creative process, from what I see. You know, they went ahead. They 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 dictated that they create a game that was created by fucking by fucking committee and they put it all together you're going to be going that. around castlevania the next castlevania is going to be a town instead of a castle and to get around you're going to have to get on motorcycles and cars and shit they already did that in lords of shadow too i'm not kidding either <laughs> i'm talking about grand theft autoing yeah no, but Lords of Shadow 2 is held in modern times. That's the reason why I said that. I know. But I'm talking about Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Grand Vampire Larceny. Has a great ring to it. Yeah, and Contra is going to be stealth. No, Contra is going to be played in VR. Haven't you heard? <laughs> Oh boy. So so you're gonna see spreads. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Uh lovely. All right. Anything else to say about games no. or the abysmal showing that Konami went ahead, the abomination that they unleashed on everybody. Okay, so at least we can look forward to Injustice 2. Recore has some gameplay, so that's that's good. As long as as long as the games that they did show play well, besides Metal Gear, because no, I'm not interested, then I, okay, you're a gamer, pick up those games, play them, enjoy them, whatever, you know, that, have some freaking fun. What about you, Gray Mouse? Final thoughts? None, nada. You know, that doesn't help us. This is a YouTube video. <laughs> um, <laughs> He's just lost for words, especially since the lack of showing from Nintendo. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll say that right now. I'm, uh, you know, I'm... But Gamecom, although, Gamescom is not usually Nintendo's place. Yeah, it, you know, it's, no, it's, it's still kind of concerning, though. It, it because, they're running, because they're running out of time. I get that. I you just... Know, uh, uh, I just can't believe that, that, well, yeah, I can because of <laughs> what kind of, I just can't believe that they didn't, that Konami didn't expect backlash. It, they're just that fucking arrogant. You know what I mean? Because that's what it is. Call it that's what it arrogance. is. Fucking arrogance. Yeah. That's just straight arrogance. Or we're going to throw out anything and we're going to throw out this garbage and we'll call it uh, Metal Gear Survive. And they'll love it. It's a Metal Gear game. They'll love it. Yeah. Oh, like like Metal Gear Pachinko, Castlevania Pachinko. Oh yeah, they'll love that. It's Castlevania. It's Metal Gear. No. No. Nope. Nope. Yeah. We're done here. Yep. With that, folks, you know, 
Gamescom come, came and went. A lot of a lot of news, and like we've, it's been obvious at the end, a little bit of disappointing news uh, that that was shown off at Gamescom. Um, you know, we're going to go ahead and bring this video right here to an end. Uh, like you say at the end of every video, thank you for following us all the way up to the end. You know, for the last thirty minutes or so, um, give us a like, give us a comment, hit subscribe if you're so kind. Uh, you know, we're here all the time. We release videos out every week and we do respond to comments. All right. With that, we are the three middle-aged guys just bullshitting about nothing. And we are going to be cutting the bullshit right here. I am the Reverend. The theme here. Mary Mouse One. Once again, for the benefits of common sense, logic, and gaming. <sighs> I wish Gamecom, Gamescom would have been better. A bit better. It could have been worse, but it could have been a lot better. People are still on the fence. There, I mean, there are a lot of people out there that don't have PS4s or Xbox Ones, or even Wii U's. It, is, shit. It, is anyone still interested in the NX? Seriously. I, I, I just don't know. <sighs> Credits. <laughs>